Hi everyone, I'm Hector Garcia, and I want to talk to you about one of my favorite new features of QuickBooks Online, which is the improved attachments. So let me tell you some of the new things that they've improved to attachments. But before we jump into that, let's talk about attachments in general. So as a general concept, I can take any transaction, uh, for example, I'll take uh, an expenditure that I recorded from a, a bank transaction or a credit card transaction. And I'm going to go ahead and load that. So let's say I have a regular transaction here. And when I scroll down, there's an attachment section. I could literally just drag and drop any receipt or a picture or something I happen to have in my desktop. Whether you have a Mac or a PC, it doesn't matter. It's the same functionality. Do drag and drop it in there. And then the attachment gets uploaded. And anytime I want to see it, I just click on that link. And I'll have access to look at that attachment. Um, so that's just basically the the basic concept of attachments. But, but so let me tell you some of the improved uh, things that they added to the attachment section. And these improvements can be found in three places. One, we can now attach uh, files to our vendors or our customers. So for example, if I click on vendor here on the left side on the vendor center tab, and I click on any particular vendor, let's say for example, I click on AT&T and I click on edit here on the top right, and I scroll down, I can now attach something to that vendor. So let's say, for example, I happen to have a contract of some sort uh, or a price list or some document related to that vendor. I can now attach it to the vendor and I can always go back to this vendor here to pull it up. Same thing with customers. You can attach them to the customers as well. Um, so that's actually really, really good uh, because that wasn't available until summer of 2016. And if you click here, which says vendor details, you can also see all the attachments that are attached to the vendors. Same thing with customers as well. So if I click on customers and I click on any particular customer and then I click on customer details, I can drag and drop and add attachments there. So that's one of the major area of areas of improvement that I really, really like. The other area of improvement that I like, it's in the registers. Inside any bank register, let me go here in my chart of accounts and I'll go ahead and double click on my first account here, which is my bank register. I can also I can use my register to monitor which of my transactions have attachments. So I'm going to click on this little gear here in the top and click on attachments. And basically that enables a new column called attachments. And then any transaction that has an attachment, which is the one that I just used, will have that a number in it. I'll tell you the number of attachments. So that's one way you can see whether you have your receipts for every one of your transactions. You can also add attachments on the fly. For example, let me add an attachment here to this Exxon a gas station bill and let's say for example I have a receipt here somewhere right here so I I got this receipt here and I'm gonna go ahead and click here it says add attachment okay and then once I click that I can I can just pick it here from my desktop hit open and that will upload that attachment and do it straight from the register so we can do it uh, as I mentioned earlier on the transaction itself we can do it straight from the register. The other place where I love, love, love that they added attachments because it's another area where I, I monitor a lot of my clients' expenses is I'm going to click here where it says transactions and click on expenses. And then this is a, a sort of a hidden feature. You actually have to discover it. So I'm going to click here on the gear menu and then click on attachments. And then basically the same concept. Um, if there is an attachment associated with it, you're going to see a number there, like you see number one, telling you there's an attachment. If I actually click on that number, notice that that number becomes a little highlight. If I click on that number, um, it shows me a preview. How awesome is that of that attachment? That way I can pretty much know real quick whether or not um, I have the right uh, document in there or, or maybe I'm, I'm just reviewing to see if which of my transactions have attachments to it. So adding attachments in general is a feature that I love being able to monitor it at the register, being able to add it to customers and vendors, and being able to see it here on the expense transaction to me is one of the best things that they added into QuickBooks Online this year.